Hello class, today we will be talking about something quite simple and it's going to be on the perimeter of sectors and segments. So get your pen and your lesson note and let's get right to it straight away. What is the perimeter of a sector? The perimeter of a sector is simply the distance around the sector which usually comprises two radii and the length of an arc. It's that simple. In other words, you have this major sector and you have a minor sector, which usually forms a circle. You have a radius, or two radii rather, the center O, and the length of an arc. Now, we're going to be placing emphasis on the minor sector, which is the blue shaded region. So, the perimeter is going to be radius plus radius plus the length of the arc. That's what we're trying to say. So, in simple terms, perimeter of sector is equal to R plus R plus length of arc. Perimeter of sector equals 2R plus AB. Then the perimeter of the circle finally is going to give us 2R plus theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi R. Where theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi R is the length of the arc. And R is the radius of the circle. And theta is in degrees. So it's very important that we understand that. All right, so let's get straight to an example so that we push home our points. It says a sector of a circle of radius 3.5 cm has an angle of 108 degrees at the center. Find the perimeter of the sector. Okay, so we have the figure below and the parameter is given 3.5 cm for the radius and 108 degrees for the angle subtended at the center. So how do we go about this? Here is it. Given the parameters that R is 3.5, theta is 108 degrees, and pi is equals 22 over 7. Perimeter of sector is equal to 2R plus length of arc. First of all, we have to get the length of the arc, then we need to add it up to 2R. It's going to be easier for us that way and for you too. So substitute the values of theta, pi, and r into the equation. We're going to have length of arc as 108 degrees over 360 degrees multiplied by 2 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by 3.5. If you do the math, multiplying denominators, multiplying numerators, or divided by the denominators, we're going to have 16,632 over 2250. So punch that on your calculator and we would have length of arc as 6.6 .6 cm. Quite simple. Next, we get the perimeter of sector. From the formula we already have, simply substitute the value since we already have the length of arc. Simply substitute it for 2R plus length of arc. So we have 2 into 3.5 plus 6.6. .6. If you do the math very well, you will have 13.6 cm as the perimeter of the sector. So that's it for perimeter of sector. Next on, let's get to the perimeter of a segment. The perimeter of a segment is actually the distance around the segment which consists of a chord and length of arc forming the segments as shown below. So we have the major segment and the minor segment. So for emphasis, we'll be wo working with the minor segment which is the blue shaded region. So the length of the chord because the length of the arc is actually the perimeter, just the distance around it, the red boundary. So how do we go about that? Perimeter of segment is giving us length of chord plus length of arc, like we stated earlier. In formula terms, in terms of theta, pi, and r, we have perimeter as 2r sine theta over 2 plus open bracket theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r. 
close bracket which is in degrees so let's have an example quickly it says find the perimeter of a segment of a circle of radius 14 cm if the chord subtends an angle of 104 degrees at the center how do we go about that given the parameters here's the solution given that r equals 14 cm theta equals 104 degrees and pi equals 22 over 7 perimeter of segment equals length of chord plus length of arc formula terms perimeter of segment is giving us 2r sine theta over 2 plus open bracket theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r close bracket so we simply substitute the values that we're given in the question into the formula we have the 2r sine theta over 2 equals 2 sine 2 multiplied by 14 multiplied by sine 104 over 2. That's for the length of the chord. So we get 28 multiplied by sine 52. Punching on the calculator, sine 52 gives 0 0.788. So when we multiply that with 28, we get 22.1 cm. So that's the length of the chord. Now for the length of the arc, which is theta over 360 multiplied by 2 pi r equals 104 over 360 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 22 over 7 multiplied by 14. So if we do that math very well, executing all the parameters, we'll have 64064 over 2250. And when we do that division, would have length of arc as 24.4 cm. Finally, perimeter of sector gives us 22.1 plus 24.5, which finally sums up to 47.5 cm. So our perimeter of the sector, the perimeter of the sector is 47.5 cm. Quite simple. Let's get to some homework. So here I have given you two questions, very simple questions that you can handle and take on. One for perimeter of sector and one for perimeter of the segment. Success. See you in the next class.